Hi, this is Pastor Ralph Hill, and I'm from Mount Horb Lutheran Church in Chapin. Today is Wednesday, the 18th of March, and we're going to begin some Lenten video devotions that we'll hopefully offer each day. We'll upload them on our Facebook page as well as our Mount Horb Lutheran Church YouTube channel. And our hope is that you'll hear God's word, we'll have a time of prayer, and be reminded that God is with us during this time as we kind of respond to this COVID-19 uh, epidemic in our country. I want to begin today with a gospel reading from John's gospel. So hear these words. One of Jesus' disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There's a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they among so many people? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was a great deal of grass in the place, so they sat down, about 5,000 in all. Jesus then took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, so also the fish, as much as they wanted. One of the questions that I hear or think about as I read this lesson today is how we feel like in this time of difficulty that there is a sense of scarcity around. And so we feel like there's so much need in the world but does what we do, one little bit thing that we do, does that make a difference at all? Or do you ever sometimes think that sometimes your, your act of kindness, however small or big it is, just doesn't seem to make a difference? What I hear in the reading today is Jesus tells us that's not the case. That the things that we do when we do out of love for one another and for God make a tremendous difference in the world. And so the miracle of giving is that every little bit we give helps. And Jesus uses what we give to make a big difference in the world. Now, I know I, like you, have probably been watching a lot of media lately, television shows, or maybe some kind of um, online snippets of people that are doing things around the world. I was watching the Today Show this morning, and they were sharing how people are trying to cope with this by reaching out, how in Italy some people are singing or playing instruments from their verandas in their hotel so that or from their places where they live so that others can hear music. I hear tremendous things that teachers are doing and about how even zoos now are offering videos of their animals so that kids and people can watch just to kind of get out of your home even if you can't get out of your home. One of the news stories that I did hear this morning on the Today Show that hit kind of locally was about a Newberry, South Carolina grandmother who's in a nursing home and her children, her grandchildren, were not able to visit her, and they decided to do something different. They did go to the nursing home, but had to stand outside of her window, and when the attendants came and, and pointed to, uh, her to the window where the kids were, they held up four signs. She had four grandchildren, and one of the signs said, we, the next one said, heart, and the next one said, you, and the other one said, nanny, or grandma. We love you, nanny. It was a small act that they offered, and it was a way for them to reach out but it had such a tremendous impact on her. She felt their love, even though she felt like she was having to do this social um, isolation and be separated from them. God does the same with us, and each day and reminds us that through the little things we do, there is a big difference. So one thing you can ask today is, what one act of kindness or what one small way can I reach out to someone to make a difference in their life? You can send a note, you can make a phone call, text somebody, or just do something positive for those that are around you. And know that God is with you during those times as well. I was thinking about um, Reinhold Niebuhr, who wrote a prayer that many people are familiar with, the Serenity Prayer, and it reminds us of this, uh, about God's peace that God provides. And you may remember the prayer goes, God grant me the serenity or the peace to accept the things that I uh, can't change, to change the, to give me courage to change the things that I can, and then the wisdom to know the difference, that God will use you in small ways to make a big difference in the world. Now, a couple of announcements before I have a prayer to conclude for today is just a reminder that uh, Mount Horb and our council, we've decided not to have our worship services this coming Sunday, March 22nd, or the following Sunday, March 29th. We're also going to suspend our Wednesday evening Holden Linton evening prayer um, tonight, March 18th, as well as next uh, Wednesday, the 25th. We are going to try to upload um, on our sermons on the YouTube channel, and so we hope you can be a part of that uh, as well. 
But let us now uh, close as we offer a prayer together. Jesus, walk beside me today. Live in me. Help me to find you today. Help me feel your forgiveness, but also know the strength that you provide. And fill my life with everything that you know I need, for that will always be enough. Amen. Again, good to greet you this way uh, today. And God's peace as you go about all that you do. Know that we love you. Have a great day. Bye.